A lens is an optical device made up of transparent material bound by two surfaces out of which at least one surface is spherical. It transmits and refracts light converging or diverging it. Convex lens A lens having both the spherical surfaces bulging outwards is a convex lens or a double convex lens. It is thicker in the middle than at the edges. This lens can converge the light incident on it. So, it is a converging lens. A lens having both the surfaces curved inwards is called a concave lens or a double concave lens or biconcave lens. It is thicker at the edges than at the middle. This lens can diverge light rays incident on it. So, it is a diverging lens. Concepts related to lens Center of curvature represented by C of a lens The center of the imaginary sphere which forms the given lens is called the center of curvature C of the lens Each lens has two centers of curvatures C1 and C2 respectively. Principal Axis It is an imaginary straight line passing through the two centers of curvature of lens. Optical Center The center point of lens on the principal axis is its optical center. A ray of light passing through it does not undergo deviation. Principal focus represented by F of a lens. When several rays of light parallel to the principal axis are incident on a lens, they converge at a point or appear to diverge from a point on the principal axis. This point is called the principal focus F of lens. In a convex lens, the rays of light parallel to the principal axis converge at the focus. A convex lens has two principal foci, F1 and F2 In a concave lens the rays of light parallel to the principal axis appear to diverge from the focus Focal length represented by small f of a lens The distance between the principal focus and the optical center of a lens is called focal length small f of the lens a lens has two focal lengths f1 and f2 rules for obtaining an image by a convex lens one if the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis then the refracted ray passes through focus F2 2 a ray of light passing through the optical center passes through it undeviated 3 if the incident ray passes through the focus 
the refracted ray is parallel to the principal axis. Image formation by a convex lens. The position, relative size and nature of the image formed by a convex lens can be studied with the help of ray diagrams. When the object is at infinity, the image is formed at the focus F2. The image is highly diminished, point-sized, real and inverted. When the object is beyond 2 F1, the image is formed between F2 and 2 F2. The image is diminished, real and inverted. When the object is at 2 F1, the image is formed at 2 F2. The image is of the same size as that of the object, real and inverted. When the object is between F1 and 2F1, the image is formed beyond 2F2. The image is magnified, real and inverted. When the object is at the focus F1, the image is formed at infinity. The image is infinitely large and highly magnified, real and inverted. When the object is between the focus F1 and the optical center O, the image is formed on the same side of the lens as the object. The image is magnified, virtual and erect. The table shows the position, relative size and nature of image formed by a convex lens for various positions of object. Sign conventions for lens are as follows. The sign conventions for lens are similar to the sign conventions of spherical mirrors. The focal length of convex lens is positive and that of concave lens is negative. Optical center of lens is taken as origin and principal axis of lens is taken as x-axis. Care should be taken to apply appropriate signs for the values of object distance, image distance, focal length according to the type of lens, height of object and height of image. Lens formula The relationship between the object distance U, image distance V and focal length F of a lens is called the lens formula and is given as 1 upon V minus 1 upon U is equal to 1 upon F. It should be noted that distances should be measured according to sign conventions. The lens formula is valid in all situations for any spherical lens. Behavior of a ray of light in refraction. Refraction occurs 
when the light ray changes medium. The refracted light rays behave in the following ways. 1. When a ray of light passes obliquely from an optically rarer medium to an optically denser medium, it bends towards the normal at the point of incidence. Here, I is greater than R and 1 eta 2. The refractive index of the second medium is greater than 1. The greater the value of 1 eta 2, greater is the bending towards the normal. Two, when a ray of light passes obliquely from an optically denser medium to an optically rarer medium, it bends away from the normal at the point of incidence. Here, R is greater than I and 1 eta 2. The refractive index of the second medium is less than 1. The lesser the value of refractive index, the greater is the bending of the ray away from the normal. 3. If a ray of light is incident normal to the interface between any two media, whether passing from an optically rarer medium to an optically denser medium or from an optically denser medium to an optically rarer medium, the angle of incidence is zero and so also the angle of refraction. Here the light passes undeviated from one medium to another. Twinkling of stars and atmospheric refraction. The stars emit their own light and they shine at night. Stars are very far away and they appear as point sources. They appear to twinkle when we see them from the Earth's surface because we view them through pockets of turbulent moving air in the atmosphere that vary in temperature and density. Hence, Refractive index of air goes on changing continuously and randomly. This causes the incoming light from the star to undergo continuous refraction. Thus, the incoming light from a star keeps changing path, shifting from side to side by minute amounts several times a second. Therefore, the stars seem to twinkle. The planets are relatively closer to the Earth and hence behave as extended sources, that is, collection of numerous point sources of light. The net fluctuation in the intensity of light coming from a planet, therefore, turns out to be zero. Hence, planets do not twinkle. Advanced Sunrise and delayed sunset. The advanced sunrise and delayed sunset are the result of atmospheric refraction. The observer sees the sun two minutes before it actually crosses the horizon. As the rays of light from the sun enter the Earth's atmosphere, they follow a curved path due to refraction before reaching the observer. The sun S, which is still below the horizon, appears to rise to S1 just above the horizon on account of atmospheric refraction. The difference in time involved is 2 minutes. That is, the sun appears to rise 2 minutes earlier. Similarly, the sun appears to set two minutes after sunset. The sun S, which has already gone just below the horizon, appears to be S2, 
just above the horizon because of atmospheric refraction. The difference in time involved is 2 minutes. That is, the sun appears to set 2 minutes later. A lens The magnification produced by a lens is the ratio of height of the image, H2, and the height of the object, H1. The magnification represented by M produced by a lens is equal to height of the image upon height of the object. H1 is always positive. H2 is positive for virtual and erect images and is negative for real and inverted images. Therefore, magnification M is positive for virtual images and negative for real images. Power of the lens The ability of a lens to converge or diverge light rays depends on its focal length. The degree of convergence or divergence of light rays achieved by a lens is expressed in terms of the power of the lens. A lens having a large focal length deviates the rays less, while a lens having a short focal length deviates the rays more. Thus, power of a lens is defined as the reciprocal of its focal length in meters that is power of lens is equal to 1 upon focal length the SI unit of the power of a lens is diopter represented by D if the focal length of a lens is 1 meter then the power of the lens is one diopter. Example Calculate the focal length of a corrective lens that has a power of plus 2.5 diopter. Power of lens equals to plus 2.5 diopter. To calculate the focal length, we use the formula. P is equal to 1 upon F or focal length. Human Eye The human eye is a complicated structure. The thin transparent membrane in front of the eye is known as cornea. The light enters the eye through the cornea. Behind the cornea is the colored part of the eye, the iris. The iris is a muscular diaphragm that surrounds a small opening called the pupil. Behind the pupil is the lens which is a transparent biconvex crystalline body. The retina is the light sensitive layer of tissue that lines the inner surface of the eye. The light sensitive cells are of two types rods and cones. Rods function mainly in dim light and provide black and white vision. 
while cones support daytime vision and the perception of color. The structures in the front of the eye, the cornea, the iris, the pupil and the lens are mainly concerned with the refraction of light rays and bringing them into focus on the retina. Light enters the eye after it is reflected off of an object. It travels through the cornea and then passes through pupil. The amount of light that enters through the pupil is regulated by the iris. The contraction and relaxation of the iris expands and contracts the pupil. The pupil becomes smaller in bright light and enlarges in to let more light into the eye. The lens with the help of the ciliary muscles has the capacity to change its curvature to adjust the focal length. This adjustment known as power of accommodation helps the eye to focus on objects at various distances. Thus, a real inverted image is formed on the retina. The light sensitive cells get activated on illumination and electrical signals are generated. These signals are passed by the optic nerves to the brain. The brain interprets these signals and processes the information in such a way that we perceive the object as it is. Distance of distinct vision We cannot read the words in the book if it is held very close to our eyes. The minimum distance for a normal eye at which an object can be seen clearly and distinctly without any strain on the eye is called the distance of distinct vision. It is about 25 centimeters for a normal human eye. Problems of vision and their remedies. Some people cannot see the object clearly due to loss of power of accommodation of the eyes. Vision problems can occur due to various reasons like change in the size of eyeball, weakening of ciliary muscles, formation of opaque, neither reflecting nor allowing the light to pass through, membrane over the eye lens, irregularities on the surface of the cornea, etc. Because of these, or any of these refractive defects of the eye, the vision becomes blurred. Refractive Defects of Vision 1. Myopia or Nearsightedness Myopia or Nearsightedness is the defect of vision in which a human eye can see nearby objects distinctly, but is unable to see distant objects clearly. In this case, the image of a distant object is formed in front of the retina, instead of getting formed on the retina due to too much convergence of parallel light rays. Myopia can be caused due to two reasons. A. As ciliary muscles 
do not relax sufficiently, converging power of the eye lens remains high, does not decrease, thus forming the image in front of retina and b the distance between the eye lens and the retina increases due to lengthening of the eyeball or increased curvature of the lens myopia or nearsightedness can be corrected using a concave lens of suitable focal length the focal length of a concave lens is negative so the power of spectacles for myopic eye is negative depending on the degree of the defect the power of the concave lens is different for different eyes hypermetropia or long sightedness it is the defect in which the human eye can see distant objects clearly but is unable to see nearby objects clearly in this case the image of a nearby object would fall behind the retina two possible reasons for occurrence of hypermetropia are a weak contraction of ciliary muscles causing low convergence of light by the eye lens leading to formation of image behind the retina b distance between eye lens and retina decreases either due to shortening of eyeball or flattening of the lens this defect can be corrected using a convex lens of suitable focal length press biopia press biopia is also called as old age hypermetropia it is the defect of vision in which aged people find it difficult to see nearby objects comfortably and clearly without spectacles when a person is young the lens is soft and flexible and allows the person to focus on objects both close and far with age the lens becomes more rigid and thus the power of accommodation of eye decreases the near point recedes and they find it difficult to see nearby objects comfortably and clearly without spectacles press biopia can be corrected by using a convex lens of suitable focal length laser press biopia surgery and non laser cornea and lens based procedures contact lenses have also been found to be useful in the treatment of press biopia if a person has myopia that is near sightedness and also hypermetropia that is far sightedness the conditions will combine in bifocal lens upper part is concave lens to correct myopia that is distant vision and lower part is convex lens to correct hypermetropia that is near vision